In this week's Cardiology Countdown, we have two different imaging studies, interestingly both from the Mass General down the street, uh, and then a, a fascinating study on the prevalence of severe aortic stenosis and implications for TAVR. So to begin with, we have a very interesting uh, randomized study looking at imaging of inflammation. Uh, and patients uh, with atherosclerosis were randomized to standard versus high-dose atorvastatin uh, for a 12-week period, and there was FDG PET imaging of the carotid and thoracic aorta. And within four weeks, one could start to see a reduction in inflammation that ultimately was statistically significant at uh, 12 weeks with just the high-dose, and more reduction in inflammation with high dose as compared with standard dose uh, statin uh, therapy, about a 14% reduction with high dose and just 4% uh, reduction with the standard dose. So a very intriguing study in uh, 83 patients that offers a new insight into plaque inflammation uh, and how we modulate that. The next study uh, looks at a sub-analysis of the ROMI-CAT2 trial, um, and this was a trial of using coronary CT angiograms in the emergency department versus a standard emergency department evaluation with stress testing uh, to evaluate the efficiency, length of stay, and then outcomes uh, managed, uh, patients managed in those two strategies. Overall, there was a shorter length of stay and equal outcomes with the uh, um, uh, CT angiogram. This analysis focused on women that comprised about half of the study population, and all of the benefits on length of stay, um, et cetera, were seen. Um, and uh, women tended to have uh, less often uh, obstructive coronary disease that was seen, just 5% of this population versus 17% of men. Um, but uh, they uh, found that this reduction uh, overall um, pertained to women because they were a lower risk uh, population. And so this really reminds us that uh, CT angiograms in the emergency department for chest pain can be a very useful and expeditious way of evaluating patients, especially women who are lower risk in this setting. Then the number one pick I have is an uh, interesting estimate of the prevalence, I think, uh, of aortic stenosis and the implications for TAVR. This is certainly at our major centers uh, that do TAVR, a growing number of the patients that we see. And uh, often when on service, debate, am I just going to get another admission for this? And, and uh, you know, a lot of patients being sent from all over. So a more formal analysis looked at about 9,000 uh, subjects across seven studies and determined that severe AS had a prevalence of 3.4%. And so when they extrapolate out to the populations of uh, the United States and, and Europe, the estimate is that uh, approximately 290,000 patients have severe AS and would-be candidates, and each year 27,000 new candidates graduate into this uh, category of severe AS. And so it does speak to a very high burden of disease where we may be seeing more and more uh, TAVR and, and, of course, also surgical uh, AVR. So for this week's Cardiology Countdown, I'm Chris Cannon.